Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new vlog. So, we are in London for the evening. We have um, travelled down from home <laughs> to, uh, to London and basically we are just here for a flying visit. We are going to do a little bit of shopping for some wedding bits and um, basically we're here because um, there isn't sort of a Cartier store in where we live and the nearest one is London. So yeah this is why we are here just to get basically simon a wedding ring because when me and simon well when simon proposed to me um he got me a cartier ring that i kind of was like well you know because we're like not into diamonds or sort of like i don't want like a sparkly diamond as an engagement ring just get me sort of like a nice wedding band um that i can sort of like use for the wedding wedding as well if you get me so it's like a two in one um but basically we're here because um simon needs to get a ring and i thought it'd be really nice to sort of like you know get matching matching ones because you know it is our wedding at the end of the day and um and yeah definitely have to treat ourselves but yeah basically we are in london which is very very exciting it is actually really really warm in this room um and there's a fun fan strangely i don't know i can't switch the fan off but uh yeah if I do apologize if you can hear that fan um but i just thought we are going out for dinner in an hour or so 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 i'm going to be using my trusty garnier bb cream again i featured this in um two vlogs ago now and yeah just absolutely love it love it love it love it it's so cheap as well but just it just is a perfect match for my skin and just sort of you know like my skin like um concerns as well because you know i'm quite oily sometimes um especially if it's getting really warmer in this sort of like you know spring summer months now so really important for me to kind of have like a not a mattifying product but um you know just something that's going to control the oil and this is specifically for oily to combination skin types uh, we've got kind of like a window here where the bathroom is and simon just peered his head through <laughs> I don't want to show you, I don't want to make, I want to make sure that you're not in the... <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to just use this and um, yeah, just literally apply a little bit of this. I reapplied um, some EV Technology SPF on my face um, just because it is still bright outside, which is amazing. But I just want... A little bit of a glow up before dinner so we're going to a place called bloomsbury street kitchen i think it's called um and they kind of it's one of those like restaurants um or companies that have like little like well not little little but kind of like different restaurants um they have one in manchester and probably like three or four more in london and they're all sort of like centered around different sort of like cuisines and ah. Oh, <laughs> different cuisines and sort of different sort of like yeah diff just different foods so we're going to the bloomsbury street kitchen one and we're doing like a little a little vegetarian sort of tasting menu i think there's like six courses so that's going to be really nice and quite chilled out which um yeah looking forward to having some nice food but kind of like just quite chilled vibes as well like i don't want to feel like oh it's quite too posh for me <laughs> that's a little bit better lighting isn't it i actually couldn't see where i was applying this um bb cream but yeah so we're going out for dinner tonight and it looks like a really nice place really nice chill but yeah so looking forward to a really nice day in london tomorrow and um, we are going to get be going to be getting the train back around like four or five so it really is like a quick stop london visit because we want to get back to ellie um but yeah so we're just going for the ring and um just going to do a little bit of shopping a little bit of mooching around london and um yeah i'm excited to kind of bring you along with me and then of course i'll be vlogging on the sunday as well so that'll be a really nice day at home and um yeah just looking forward to the evening and just spending some quality time before our wedding which is crazy so it's less than six weeks to our wedding now which i just honestly can't get over we waited so long for this wedding uh, obviously because of the c word we've waited an extra two years and um, then our original date so yeah it's uh definitely like that's why i think like you know getting another car tearing is definitely warranting that um because it's extra special so we are ready to go to dinner i'll just give you a little ootd or should i say O-O-T-N, outfit of the night, outfit of, 
O-O-T, yeah, outfit of the night. <laughs> and so I've just got my All Saints shirt on, which is a really lovely kind of like, um, a very musky pinkish colour. Um, and then I've got some really skinny jeans on, which I don't usually wear, and then just some brown boots. Um, I don't have to do a... <laughs> full plan of the shoes um, but yeah this shirt actually used to be quite like oversized for me but now I've put on a little bit of chubby weight um, it's filled out a little bit so yeah there's always pros to put on weight <laughs> and then what are you wearing Simon? so All Saints short sleeved shirt I don't know what these are with something on it <laughs> jeans brown boots very nice very nice, and actually Simon put my video on. Oh, look at Ellie. Uh, yeah. Don't know why he put my video on, but whatever. <laughs> Morning everyone, so it is a brand new day and we are in London still and um, we've just gotten up and gotten dressed and we're ready to leave the hotel on the way to um, well yeah first off we're going to Cartier and um, hopefully we'll be able to get in because I couldn't I didn't book a, an appointment but anyway uh, it will sort itself out but yeah we had a really lovely meal last night we were there for a total of like three hours so we we're there quite a while um, so we kind of like our table was at like seven and we didn't get back in till about half past ten so we literally just crashed um, as soon as we got in and yeah just got to bed so uh, maybe that's why I'm looking a bit blurry eyed this morning because I am quite tired uh, travel days are always you know quite tiring for some reason even though you just sat down all, all day pretty much um, but yeah, really excited to um, go around London today, do a little bit of shopping and then get home to Ellie tonight. Don't worry, she's not on her own or anything, she is at Simon's mum's house. Um, that's like where she goes whenever we go to work in the office or... Um, you know we go away for a night away or something like that so yeah she's not alone don't worry um but the sky is is actually quite blue today the sun is coming out and um, so it's gonna be a warm but nice sunny day in london today oh. Oh. <laughs> So we did a thing, <laughs> uh, it's in the white bag for discretion purposes, but yes, there we are, we, uh, we couldn't film inside there because it was just like full of security men and, um, and all loads of cameras and it was quite scary actually, but yeah we just did a thing and then we just had to go to the other one which is on Old Bond Street I think it is and um, just get mine sort of like polished up a little bit so yeah very very excited Really nice. So um, yeah, we've just been chilling out for a little bit. 
um, just wandering around the shops, did a little bit of damage in H&M and also in Pull and Bear. So this is the menu, we've got like um, Beyond Meat Burgers, Applewood Vegan, that looks really nice actually with red onion relish. Um, there's the Tribute there, chili one, there's a teriyaki one, got some like sides and sauces. What are you thinking Simon? I'm thinking the buffalo chicken. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a bit of me that one. Yeah. And I reckon you, that's like, um, I bet that's like a proper, you know, the burgers you like. Yeah, like the sloppy one. Like they're just like, proper everything yeah. to it. Yeah, I think I might go for that one then. The tribute one with red onion, pickles and lettuce. And then are we going to get some chips as well? It comes with chips. Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh, amazing. I might actually get a beer, you know. Mm. A burger beer. Brewed just in collaboration. A refreshing British lager. I might actually get that. Mm. Feeling a beer. What are you going to get? What are you going to get? I might get a beer as well then. Oh. What beer is it? Do you put a place? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, a good pour of that. Good pour. Nice head on it. Excited. Nice. <laughs> Simon's having his burger now. The uh, vegan chicken burger. That looks a big, big burger, that. Oh. Is that like onion? Mm. Looks good, that. Yum, yum, yum. And the beer is going down a treat. It is a brand new day and it is the day after London. We got back around about, mm, what time did we get back? About, well we got home about half past eight or like eight, half past eight or something like that. So yeah, it was a really, really long day um, and I was just absolutely knackered and I had to edit um, the vlog from last week. So um, yeah, I was just like, oh, let's get let's get stuff done and then you know just uh, just go to bed but it is a brand new day and feeling very very refreshed um i do apologize that i well that i'm looking a bit pale i've just tried out a new sunscreen from userin um that i've never tried before so yeah i'm just trialing that out today but i'm not too sure how i feel about it it's supposed to be like really like mattifying and and fluid like and yeah i'm just not too sure about it but anyway i thought i'd give you like a little a little loot from what we bought in london um obviously we went and purchased the the goods i know which is very exciting i'm not going to show you um what type of ring it is or anything like that because you know it's just it's it's nice to kind of you know, if it gets shown on the wedding day, then it'll get shown on the wedding day. But um, yeah, it's uh, it was a 
lovely little purchase. And then I also got my mine like polished um, slash cleaned as well, um, just very quickly from um, the other store. So there's two stores in in well no there's more stores in there's more Cartier stores in London but there's two like on the same street so you got um old Bond Street and then you got New Bond Street and uh, we went to the New Bond Street one and um got Simon's got Simon's ring and then but they didn't do like the cleaning service um for like existing rings so then we went down just a, only like a few hundred yards um to old bond street and got mine clean there um so yeah we went into two cartier stores yesterday <laughs> so yeah it was just really lovely to purchase simon's ring and um yeah just well deserved really um but i actually if you'd seen my vlog last week's vlog where we went to liverpool i mentioned about a shirt from pull and bear that i really wanted um, and I just didn't get it because the key was so long, but I actually managed to get it because we went past one And you might be thinking oh, it's not that interesting, but I actually really like it So it's kind of like this grandad collar, which is like a very nice cotton material And it's just got some nice really like faint stripes like neutral stripes down it And um, yeah, I thought it was really nice. Oh, it's a linen blend actually because it says it contains linen and um, we didn't actually really get that much from london just because obviously the main thing was the ring um but i did also we also went into h&m <clears throat> to apologize about my croaky voice um hay fever is definitely on its way i do like i don't really suffer with hay fever but sometimes when the pollen count is really high then it kind of gets to me and i feel like it's you know the start of that season right now uh, so i do need to pick up some antihistamines but i picked these up from h&m and they were how much were they they were 17 pound 99 just really nice like slip on shoes then um, with a cork sole and they're kind of you know like this really nice breathable material here but like quite sturdy as well and i just love like kind of like easy to wear slip on shoes basically like slippers but you know you can take them outside and stuff so yeah i um picked them up as well and also just some really cheap sunglasses because i haven't got any i literally don't know where any of my sunglasses have gone so i mean you know i need to take the labels off and everything but and then we also went to like this little chinese supermarket in chinatown and um we bought some drinks and a few little snackaroos. So we were actually going to have these on the train, but we were just so tired that basically we fell asleep, both of us. Um, but Simon picked up this white grape flavoured Dragon Ball... Dragon Ball Z, is it? Dragon Ball Z? Um, sparkling drink. <laughs> and then I also picked up the sparkling water bamboo and aloe vera flavor um, and then we also picked up some hello pandas which i haven't actually tried before but we um, we did uh, i did i did try one on the train um and it was actually really nice this is kind of like the normal flavor um the, just like the biscuit flavor and then this is kind of like an extra chocolatey flavor um and then we also picked up these like sun rice chips which look spicy and they do say spicy flavor uh, so yeah i just thought that was quite nice they didn't really have like the best selection like i kind of wanted some like like just different sweets different chocolates and stuff but um and it was very small very busy in there but yeah that's what we picked up from london so really really not a lot because obviously like the main bit was the ring um but i did actually come home too a nice parcel from deviant skincare um so this is pr um just you know full disclosure there i am so so excited because they recently released their pigmentation corrector serum and oh, <clears throat> and uh, yeah it just like it looks absolutely stunning so and i really have been eyeing it up for a while um so hopefully i have it in here but just like the packaging is just is absolutely stunning like you know the the wax seal on there oh it's just beautiful ah yes 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 i have got it so we have got the pigmentation corrector serum 
So this is their new release and you can actually use this alongside any other like active ingredient in your routine. So trianoin, exfoliating acids, vitamin C, anything like that. Um, and it's a really innovative formulation. So very, very excited to try that out. Um, and I think we've got some top ups of some of my faves as well. So we have got the Gentle Resurfacing Liquid. Love, love, love this. Um, I think I've actually just ran out of my bottle as well that I purchased, um, but it's really gentle, but really like effective on the skin. It actually got rid of like some amelia around, around kind of like the lower eye um, part there. Um, last year it was. And then we've also got the ENZ enzymatic cleansing oil i've not tried this before but um i am definitely in the market for a new cleansing oil to be honest with you i much prefer cleansing balms so i'd be really excited to try this out and see if it kind of like converts me into cleansing oils and speaking of cleansing balms we have got the iconic cleansing concentrate so this um yeah i've tried this before and it's unbelievable it really really is absolutely fantastic it's all about that whole like experience for me um especially with the cleansing balm anyway so yeah and this just delivers and it takes off everything um but just look at the packaging it's just it's just honestly so so special and then we've got the facial oil which has got another wax seal there just the branding is on point and um, so yeah i've not actually tried this out yet and i am nearly running glow on my groom prickly pear oil and um, because you know i've been lathering my face with facial oils because of being tre on tretinoin like my skin is so dry and um, so yeah that is amazing and i'm so so excited to try more from deviant skincare and really looking forward to in to their releases um that they're you know launching this year so yeah, thank you Deviant. And so the plan of action today is I actually need to clean out the fridge. Um, I'm not actually gonna do that in a second because it's been on my to-do list for quite a while now. And you know when you just kind of want a bit of a rejig, a bit of a wipe down so it's nice and fresh and yeah it just it just needs a clean um and then what we need to do is we need to go to the recycling center just to kind of you know recycle bits that we can't recycle at home and then we're going to go um to my mum's because she's kind of like sorting out all of like this you know like personalized vinyl lettering and whatnot for our wedding and um, so yeah we're just going to kind of have like a quick catch up with regarding wedding plans and then we're going to go and do a food shop so yeah it'll be really nice to kind of like clean the fridge out and then stock it up again with nice foods healthy foods because it, we really need to get our asses into gear to eat healthy so yeah i kind of want to do like a like um, a lettuce wedge salad for lunch and then do like a quite nice like healthy pasta dish for dinner tonight um i've been craving pasta you know not i know like we had gnocchi um the last week but kind of like you know just just a standard pasta dish but with some like really nice vegetables in there maybe maybe a couple of slices of garlic bread <laughs> uh, i mean you can't have pasta without garlic bread can you i mean it's just criminal if you do So I've just spent the last like 20 minutes cleaning out the fridge and look at that, literally like brand new. Makes me so happy and can't wait to fill it once we get back from doing a food shop. I didn't really have to do much with these compartment kind of things because we don't really use them anyway. So they're not like, they're literally not dirty. Um, I could eat my dinner off them. <laughs> uh, very, very bare minimum in the fridge. So a food shop is definitely in order. Hey! Have you missed us? You missed us while we've been out shopping. 
Hey, good girl. Oh. Good girl. Ellie. Ellie. Hey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. And so a food shop has been done and I'll do a little food shop haul. We went to Morrison's, which is kind of like, you know, we always kind of go to Morrison's. Um, and we just find it's the sort of like, yeah, the best kind of supermarket around us. And it just, yeah, there's just so, so much variety and it's just a nice shopping experience because that's what matters at the end of the day as well, isn't it? And so first up, we have got the Morrison's Tiger Bloomer, which is one of the best sliced breads out there on the market um, it definitely is really really good and uh, the dates like it lasts kind of like a week which is which is un unheard of for bread um, but it's got kind of like a mix of sourdough in there and it's nice and like you know crunchy on the top which is great uh, we picked up some onions just because of like you know they're so important and so vital to have in, in dishes that you make like pasta dishes um, curries anything like that and then we picked up some more potatoes. Just always good to have in some pota baking potatoes. We picked up some wild rocket, just, you know, for like sort of adding on to salads and kind of just, yeah, just kind of spicing the, so, well, not spicing it, but kind of giving dishes a bit of sort of aromatic flavor. And um, we got some bananas. So these just need to go a little bit ripe. Then we've got some avocados. Again, these just need to, they say ripe and ready, but I never I never find avocados that say the ripe and ready to be ripe. <laughs> um, so they, you know, they could do with a few more days before they are at their optimal prime. We got some cauliflower because Simon does love to do like kind of like cauliflower um, spicy bites, which are really, really good actually. Um, so yeah, we got some cauliflower for that, some carrots, always great to have carrots in, again, for like pasta dishes or just, you know, some some carrot and hummus, which we have also got over there. Then we got some baby plum tomatoes, again, for some salads. This is, you know, there's a lot of like salad -y bits here as well. Um, what I'm wanting to do with this iceberg lettuce is kind of like make like iceberg lettuce wedges and just have some like dressing over them like here i've got the caesar salad dressing um yeah so just kind of like have a caesar salad like iceberg wedge with some croutons and some baby plum tomatoes i think that'd be really nice i'm going to make that after i've put all this food away and then we've got some mushrooms again just so so vital to have in when you're making home dishes some blueberries which are really nice kind of like you know, nice little fruit salad bit there, which we've got pineapples, blueberries, and pink lady apple slices. Oh, and strawberries as well. So yeah, loving the fruit snacks. We've got an aubergine as well, because we're going to do like sliced, kind of like grilled aubergine. We had um, like a, an aubergine dish in London the other night, which was really nice. And then Simon picked up this kind of like um, chili and mango dressing, or is it? Yeah, chili and miso dressing, sorry. Um, which I think that will... That will go like really nicely with the roasted aubergine slices. Uh, we got some petit pois, just again because I want to make a creamy like pasta dish tonight, so I think they'll be really nice to go in there. We've got some Pepsi Cherry Max and also some orange cordial. Here we've got some corn roast. Again, this is just one of our favourites. Um, not just typically for a roast dinner, but you can you can slice this up and you can just you know have it in pasta dishes, which is what we're going to do tonight. And then some Richmond meat-free sausages. Um, we then picked up some grilled artichokes. This is just again so so nice to have in salads and stuff. And then green pesto and also red pesto just kind of adds a little bit of flavor to pasta dishes um pasta of course speaking about pasta and of course garlic bread so yeah we've got like you know things to have like a tomato based pasta and also a creamy based pasta i'm going to do kind of like um nutritional yeast and sort of soya milk um, and sort of like make it yeah and then we've got some vegan cheese which i just find that the vegan cheese like is a lot cheesier and a lot meltier with pasta dishes it just kind of yeah adds a bit adds a little bit more than just normal grated cheddar cheese um yeah so then obviously we've got the garlic bread there this actually looked really really good i've not tried this before it's the roast garlic pizza bread and oh just looks insane and not too big as well so i feel like that's kind of like a good portion size of when we you know split it in half um and then 
I mean, I know we're trying to eat healthy, but you can't pass off Pringles when they're on offer, can you? So we got the sour cream and onion one and also the cheese and onion one. And of also, which I didn't, which are actually new, is these focaccia bites, which is sea salt, rosemary, and extra virgin olive oil. Um, small bag, but I'm gonna open these in a second because I was like, ooh, these look really, really nice. Um, yeah, and then just some oven baked crisps. I find these like probably the best, best crisps out there because they're, they're they are quite salty, but they're they're healthier than normal crisps as well, and they've kind of just got a little bit more of a crunch to them. Um, so yeah, I really do love those. And then yeah, just. Um, a Lloyd Grossman tikka masala curry sauce with some naan bread. Because I'm thinking to kind of have like, um, kind of have this naan bread as like sort of like a base and then kind of like do the corn roast chicken um, with some like veg and some rocket and kind of have like a, a different take on a curry night. So no rice or anything like that, but kind of, yeah, make it quite, quite different. Yeah, so that's pretty much all we have got today from the food shop. We didn't need that much because we do still have things in the cupboards and then the freezer and the fridge. Well, not the fridge because it's basically empty. Um, but yeah, we've got stuff in the freezer and also in the cupboards. So yeah, we're fully stocked for the week, which is always nice to start the week off. And yeah, looking forward to my lettuce wedge. <laughs> my little lunchy snack thing because it is actually getting on quite a little bit but I'm going to just have a little few of these. Ah, who's jealous now? Well, I'll have them. Um, Simon was just like, if you, if you presented, presented me that in a restaurant, he would leave. So, we're falling out. Hmm. But yeah, these are the kettle for catch you about sea salt, rosemary and extra virgin olive oil. That load from um, grocery trips that we had last yesterday. Mm, nice. Be good with some hummus though. Mm. Good evening everybody. <laughs> so uh, we are well it's actually currently what time is it, Sam? Um, around about six-ish, maybe? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Just like after six-ish, uh, but yeah, we're gonna be cooking dinner now. So we're gonna be making like a like a chicken, like a corn chicken um, kind of style creamy pasta. Um, I've enlisted Simon's help on the go, and we've also got the corn roast in the oven there, which has got about 13 minutes left actually. So um, yeah, it won't. I mean, it'll take a bit longer than 13 minutes to do the, the pasta, but we've got some tagliatelle. And we're gonna just, yeah, do it with um, garlic, onion, oregano, soya milk, and like nutritional yeast and stuff like that. So it's gonna be really nice. And of course, we've got the um, the garlic pizza bread to have as well, which I'm oh, so looking forward to. Uh, but it's been a bit of a quiet afternoon, really. I've just been kind of like purchasing um, a few wedding bits, kind of like some like gifts and stuff um, for our wedding party but yeah it's just it's just been kind of like one of those things i've been watching Gemma's vlog and kind of halfway through it just over halfway through um her like baby hospital bag nursery vlog uh, which is really nice so yeah perfect sunday that is exactly what i call a perfect sunday but i've actually got this kind of like eucerin tinted spf on and on camera it doesn't actually look too bad however in real person it kind of looks just it doesn't look great at all it's kind of like it clumps around the facial hair even though i did shave this morning and um yeah it's just a bit of a thicker coverage than i usually like with a bb cream so i'm not too keen on it and of course obviously you know once you're reapplying the spf light every few hours or so then um i think it might get a little bit too heavy and a bit too greasy so yeah i'm not too keen on it unfortunately but i mean it was worth a shot and i think like you know maybe maybe try it with sort of like a different moisturizer or sort of yeah try different ways with it anyway also i forgot to show you the 
stocked fridge. Obviously, it's not that stocked because it wasn't a big shop, but yeah. Looks so much better now though, doesn't it? So yeah, we've got some drinks and I don't know, just miscellaneous stuff there. That is moss, by the way, for some plants. I just kept it in the fridge so it would keep alive. Um, got some like cheeses and some butter, some dip there, some vegetables. Vegetables is also in the drawer as well, but then we've got some fruit there and also soya milk in that compartment as well. But a nice clean and stocked fridge for the week ahead. Voila. <laughs> Just Ellie's long, le long ears. You good girl. Oh, I know. Tell to you, hon. Oh, baby. You know when you're in an Italian restaurant and they're like, How much? And you're like, Tell me when to stop. Keep on going, keep on going. Tell me when. Keep on going. <laughs> <laughs> Keep on going. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Right now, yours? Aww. And voila, this looks absolutely incredible. Done such a good job, Simon. I did help a little bit by putting the garlic bread in the oven and also the chicken roast. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Yeah, we uh, cut the garlic bread like Papa John's does. Just because it, Simon says it feels like you've got more then. But yeah, look how good that looks. So excited. Good evening, everybody. So it's around about an hour later since we had dinner. And oh, it was so, so nice. Like, oh, so yummy. Exactly what I've been like craving. And that garlic bread, oh my God. That was probably like the best garlic bread that I've had for a long, long time. It was so good. Um, but yeah, and then we watched um, a new Netflix series actually. It was called um, Autonomy or Autonomy, Autonomy of a Scandal. Um, it's about sort of like, it's, apparently it's based off a book and Simon has read the book, I haven't. Um, so I don't know what to expect, but Simon kind of does. Um, but yeah, it's about a sort of an MP who's had an affair and um, I don't want to like spoil it or anything. I mean, we've only watched the first episode, but um, yeah, it's getting, getting quite juicy and Sienna Miller's in it actually. And she's just like, she's just like, you know, a beauty of a goddess of beauty isn't she <laughs> so i thought i'd show you my evening skincare routine for tonight and um, of course i received the new pigmentation corrector serum by deviant skincare which i mean i really should have tested this but i'm just going to put it on my face anyway because i'm too excited um but yeah i'm going to be using tretinoin as well so what i'm going to do is use the serum let that kind of like absorb absorb into the skin and then use the tretinoin just because it's in that cream based like vehicle and um yeah i kind of just like there's no point in me putting on a serum after the tretinoin cream it just it kind of won't work to its full advantage um but first of all to take off that tinted spf i'm going to use the super drug b cleanse melting cleansing balm um this is incredible and they actually sent it me when i attended their virtual event it was oh god god knows i don't know anyway but i've only recently cracked it open and i am loving it so much it really does emulsify so so well and um yeah it's not breaking me out which is really great so this is going to be put to the ultimate test because that is that tinted spf is um i mean it doesn't look like it on camera but it's um, i mean it's kind of like settled down a little bit now but i can still see like a lot of clumpiness around here which i don't really like so i don't think it's for me but yeah, I'm really excited to kind of continue watching that series. It's only six episodes, so um, it's going to be over quite quickly. But yeah, really excited to kind of continue watching that. And then I'm 
I think Ozark um, the second part of season four of Ozark is that coming out this week or when you watch this has it already come out <laughs> um, I'm not too sure I'll have to check on Netflix with that but I'm very very excited to um, start watching that <coughs> start watching that again because well that last episode of the part one of season four was shocking what else am i needing to watch so i'm needing to watch the season two of bridgerton as well um also southern sunset the new season has come out today so yeah i need to watch that um i also was watching last year what was i watching last year yeah i was watching um elite last year the spanish kind of like teen drama so i was watching that last year and i think i got to like halfway through season three so i do need to actually carry on watching that because um I've heard that it gets really, really good, and um, I kind of, you know, even though I kind of watch it dubbed, and it's sort of like a little bit, a little bit kind of strange to get used to. Um, it's uh, it's still a really good series, and um, yeah, it's just it's just kind of one of those you take it with a pinch of salt teen drama kind of things. I mean, that's not a pretty sight, is it? But you can see how well this cleansing balm emulsifies and that is what I live. <laughs> so that's done a really good job actually of cleaning it off. Like wow, love that. Um, anyway, I'm going to go in with the Hero Cosmetics Clear Collective Gentle Milky Cleanser. Been loving this recently, um, well actually for for um, a, good, a good few weeks now actually, as you can tell it's like three quarters empty. Um, but we are really sort of like milky as you would expect and just really nourishing on the skin whilst kind of like soothing it and and gently exfoliating it with like the um polyhydroxy acid so yeah i've been loving this i can usually either use it as kind of like a first cleanse um or like a two-in-one cleanser or like um a second cleanse so that is all my face cleansed and squeaky clean. Um, I'm now gonna go on with the Deviant Skincare Serum. Really, really excited. So, so excited to try this out, if you hadn't guessed already. Oh, look at that packaging. So beautiful. Um, but yeah, this is supposed to be, like the results I've seen online look so, so good. Um, and just like transformative in terms of like pigmentation, um, dark spots, anything like that. And of course, it's always like super, super great for your um, skin barrier as well. Um, but what I absolutely love about this is that they say you can use it alongside tretinoin, which is amazing. So I'm going to use about two to three pumps there and just kind of like work it into my skin. Um, my battery is literally flashing at me, I do apologise, and I don't have another one. Um, basically, I've asked for a, a new battery from for my birthday, so when you're watching this, it'll actually be a week today, um, when until my birthday, which is so, so exciting. Um, I've just got like a planned, like a chilled planned one, just going out for a pub lunch. Um, well, pub like early evening meal uh, with my family and um, yeah I've asked for a new camera battery for my birthday along with some skincare and uh, a bottle of Whispering Angel because I do like Whispering Angel but it can be quite expensive especially just you know just a rosé um, but that feels really good on my skin actually so I'm going to leave that to absorb a little bit and then put on my 0.05 Try to know in, in around about 10 minutes or so, um, and then put on my Groom Prickly Pear Facial Oil um, in around about an hour or so. Um, but I really do hope you have enjoyed this vlog. It's been so, so lovely to kind of bring you along with us in terms of going to London and uh, yeah, getting the ring for Simon. And um, yeah, it's just been a really nice chill day today. I'm still like super, super exhausted from the weekend um but yeah it's been it's been lovely so yeah i really do hope you enjoyed it and i will see you next week for a brand new vlog see you later bye bye